Good day, here was well. And today I'm gonna try and start assembling this. The old you an internal combustion engine. Actually turns over. It's a full working model. Little electric motor in here. And yeah, I have a little box with sounds and sound effects in it and it turns the engine over. And each piston will have a um, little light in here that lights up at a precise moment as if it's actually running. Step one, I gotta get the um sump pan assembly out. Start building it up from the bottom end. There's a head gasket in the head. There's a block. Yeah, first of all, I'll start with a sump pan assembly. Get that little up and going. That must be the locker cover, I think. Uh, this is the sump part here, the sump assembly. Little tiny bearing things that the bearing as well on. So if we look in the thing, this tells it each what parts it is. There's a head, gasket and the block. Let's see what else we got here. Twenty-three and twenty-six. Those numbers are twenty-three and twenty-six. Up I saw on the head's number twenty-three. Which is that one. It must be the locker cover. 26 is a rocker cover. No, no, that's a long one. Anyway, let's start by assembling the main parts first. Let's start with the piston and tank um, parts. Two piece pistons. We've got little pistons here, yeah, little conrods, bottom end bearings, cam lobes, or eccentrics, whatever you want to call them. There's a rockers. Now there's another set somewhere with a gudgeon pins. You get it completely assembled the pistons first. Okay, there's a little black thing there, the gudgeon pins and the pistons. And there's the valves. And there's the ends of the valves. The valves and the softs are actually seat in the head. But first, first get everything out of the open here so we can find what's what. Alright, that must be the... So I'll look for the sump here. Must have to look for the motor assembly, I think. Clutch housing, they call that. And that's the sump part there. Timing belt, which is the green one, and the fan belt's the black one. Battery box, a little distributor, and a spark plug, which is lights. These are rods for the um, rockers for the cam to go on. Valve springs, little screws or assembly everything. Intake manifold and all that sort of stuff on here. Here's a block, and here's a head. But first things first, let's start assembling the um, bottom end. So I'll do that. Okay, view as well. I've got this bottom end assembled, all screwed together. I'm going to use my rare German precision screwdrivers for this. Much more better than the one I provide you with, which is in there somewhere. So, yeah, fits in those screws good, and there's a top part, and that's got to go on the bottom. Now it says it has to go, that drops in, and then assembly goes in there like that. The big end goes this way. Now once I align it, I should be able to get it to... There you go. Let's test it out. Oh, that is nice. Bit of a loose, tolerant engine, though. Eh? Or knocky and clunky. <laughs> Don't got no piston rings. <laughs> but there you go. It's coming together quite nicely. Alright, we always were trying to put the block on. Get some screws that would screw the block together. Okay, we always were them step by step. Step 11, I'm up to there. This is where I'm at. It turns freely. It's all completely assembled. And that's where the, um, the drive motor bolts on to turn it over. And this part here is where the um, fan and all the timing bolts on too. 
working all good. It's so turning over. Now it says it fell up the vegetable oil, but I don't know, I don't see how that's possible. It's full of leaks. The oil is not going to seal and there's no oil pump to get it to the bearing, so I might have to make do with some silicon spray or something. And she's got the principle of an engine already. And she's working good. Alright, now the hard part is these little valves. They're really tricky to put through without breaking them. Okay, I'll move the eight valve stems. That's the top half, and there's the bits that seat into the head. I got the characteristic of a real valve. This is a careful process, so I'll do this one. Oh, the <clears throat> there's a valve guide that slides in here, this snaps in. Now look at our first valve to put through, it's got to go in. And then I put the head on. Now the putting these heads on is the hardest bit. Very delicate and very precision work. So yeah, you're going to do this one by one. So if yours are one assembling the valve parts, the valves, when you snap them off you get a big nodule in the way of plastic. So you want to get a little nail file, a bit of emery. Just shave it, make it nice and pointy a bit. Take the edge off and that will assemble very nicely. Here's the first two. You know, you've got to get it as in as you can without breaking it. That's the most crucial part, or the hardest part of assembling it, getting those valves right. So yeah. Okay, we all have the top end all done. The head's all bolted down. Now to do the harder part, putting the rocker assembly together. Don't say nothing about those washers, so I don't know. Put the lockers on. Numbers. Tell you which part is. That's pretty cool. Put these on. Oh, we all will start put these on. Cool. We'll do that and we'll bolt that down and we'll see what she looks like. Okay, viewers, so now I'm going to do the um, cam lobes or the eccentrics, same thing. So yeah, assemble it as shown. There's two washers in there, which go on the ends. And they'll push on these rocker arms like it was in a real engine. So yeah, she's nearly done. Just put them all in the right order. So yeah, we'll do that. Now, if you also look at everything you can start according to the diagram, there's a letter on each side of these cam lobes. It has to be in order, as is in that diagram. So now, I've got to try and install this in the right place. So yeah, I'm going to install that and we'll see how we go. Okay, if you also got that half completed. Now to put the top half of the engine on, which goes on, I think it's this bit. Yeah. Double one, yeah, and we'll start to put the rest of the gears and everything on. Alright, the oars all turns, it had to crank the wrong way around. This was actually facing that end, which this does not fit that side of the block. That's the starting side where the Let's turn the bolts on. This is the correct side here now. So yeah. And the flip um, crank the other way around. And this is a little timing device. Pretty handy little thing. And that goes on there. Which is very, very fiddly. Yeah, get that off camera. Okay, if you always will, when doing this part of the engine, make sure these all line up. Because it had this middle part of the block the wrong way around too. So yeah, you gotta make sure you get everything the right way around when you get to this part, otherwise you have to start again. Yeah, it seems to fit. That's where your thing's supposed to go, this doesn't seem to look like it's gonna fit though. Strange shape. That's a timing pattern they call in the book, and that's correct. This is all a different shape. 
What goes there? Sticks out of there. This bit here is kind of strange. Though. I don't get that bit. Don't know. That's a drive bit. So that goes there. Put that on last time I put this on. There you go, that little bolt down. That bit there is different though. But yeah, still works, still fits. So yeah, we'll do that and bolt it all down. Okay, here also they've got the water pump assembly and everything on. Now those washers actually go here. Hold those little um, drive bits on. So yeah. The washers are hold these little things here on. Now put the fan blade on. But before I do that, put the fan belt on. Very fiddly little project this. I put the fan belt on, put the fan on, and we go from there. Alright, viewers, I've got it all assembled. Time to test. Now, I will have to do a lot of fine tuning on the ignition timing on this, so. And the firing order might need some attention as well. Yeah. Timing's way off. Yeah, I got the timing in. I think it plugs a long way around. Yeah, my plugs are all, all off whack. Keep adjusting the timing, I get the timing on the first. Yeah, it says here 4, 3, 1, 2 you're going to get. So it must be in order, is it? So this one now, but labelled 1, must have to go on cylinder 4. So look that's how it thing is correct. This one is incorrect. This is the correct firing order. Wire mark 1 to the distributor to cylinder number 4. Wire 2 to number 3, 4 to number 1, and 3 to 2. This will ensure that the cylinders fire in the correct order. There you go. Yeah, so that one is um, incorrect. This is the correct way to do it. So I do it the right way, touch up the timing, and we're all done. Okay, viewers, that's the engine all completed. Got the clutch cover everything on, the last part. It even comes with a dipstick. So to wrap that in. There we go, look at that, that little dipstick. <laughs> Alright, viewers, let's give our completed project a test. Let's lay it on a flat surface, bring it up a bit. I might need a little bit of fine adjustments, but as good as I can get it. Still a little bit tight. Yeah, that's better. Farmers are a lot better now. It's a bit clicky and clunky, but it works. Another thing you want to take note of is when you're breaking your parts off these little um, moulds, grind off a little nodules, because they probably, um, especially on the cam labs, there's little nodules here getting in the way. And that's what, um, yeah, the cam, um, I'll sort of ground the cam nodules off from when I spray them off this. Shave them down with a little, um, emery nail foil, and that would have made it a lot less clickier and a lot freer running. But other than that, she works fine. Very happy with that, so yeah. I bought my little engine. So yeah, good Christmas present for me. So yeah, I'll just tell you what the box and everything looks like. One screw left over. It's a Haynes internal combustion engine, comes with a manual. Then it's got other inf in engine information in it. So yeah. There it all is. There we have it. So yeah. Thanks for watching.